Okay. We are back. We are back. We are back. Back to the play screen. Welcome for like the solid minute of just me giggling on that recording, by the way. <laughs> that's going to be great. Yeah, I guess that's going to be all of our recordings when I go to edit this, is us just laughing and not having the visual context. Um, Sasha sent us a gif of a bunch of pears wiggling in a Listen. container. I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say it because it's important. Because I, I wrote, this isn't super relevant because the Fronds are responsible for making sure this doesn't happen. But I have been looking at this GIF for the past hour. And it's uh, the, the GIF of the of the, the pears wiggling in a box and the damage meter. Naughty children go into the pear, into the pear wiggler. Yeah. Yep. That sounds game. like a real doll thing, you know? That it does. does. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It fully does. <laughs> I would love to see Rodal does mecha fiction. Mm. James mm -hmm. and the Giant Peach. I, I mean, BFG? <laughs> Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. A glass elevator is a mech. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, interstitial beam saber crossover then? Fuck, I would play that in like a hot second. God okay. damn. Done. All right. So, moving on to the actual game we are playing. <laughs> We're very serious. <laughs> All right. And professional. Okay. Speak for yourself. Okay, so... Uh, Scarecrow is hiding out in a hole. Um, and the three of you are... The two... Pitchfork and Dredge are carrying a bus between them, like a stretcher. While uh, Tower is driving a big rig off road. Driving, uh, driving is a generous term. <laughs> driving a big rig off road through farmland, uh, and with the with the mantis clinging to the top. In the distance, the three of you can see this uh, cloud of dust making its way towards you. You can't see what it is yet, but uh, Dredge and Pitchfork know uh, that it is a heavy AV uh, <laughs> kitted out for melee combat and speed and armor headed towards you. Lovely. But it is not here yet. Um... Huh. Hmm. Huh? Just, just had a realization. So, uh, <laughs> Dredge, I'm gonna spend your rival move now. Oh. Yeah. Why not mine? What? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spend your rival move now, and add two ticks to the Alice arrives clock. Why? Because uh, she has found open land to re-engage her boosters. Because she is an ace. Actually, no. Because she is an ace, she is, like, flipping her boosters on and off and is ramping out of the craters that Scarecrow made. So it's, like, going into them in, like, low power, high traction... And then coming out of them high speed with the boosters on and just Mario... I see you too have played tribes. <laughs> oh Tony man, Hawk's I hadn't even thought about shit over here. Hadn't even sorry, what was that? Fucking Tony Tony Hawk's pro skater shit over here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't, don't joke about that shit with me. I seriously want to see Tony Hawk's battlegrounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's Fortnite. Um so mm. Yeah. Good night, y'all. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, the, it's the bad one that lasted for like 20 seconds and then the company folded. The the retro, like, this isn't important. Go on. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Anyways. Yeah, so she's just like ramping out of these craters with the boosters on and flicking them off when she's going into them. Uh, so, yeah, so she's she's arriving. You can resist that if you are so inclined, if you can think of a way to do so. Uh, but I know that you're, you're pretty short on, uh, stress and fuel. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't have it. Yep. I don't have it. Yes. Okay. So, what are the three of you doing? You are now in this farmland. There are like fences and tree lines and hedgerows that are there to show the boundaries between properties properties that are now abandoned they have uh gone to seed and are full of mixed crop crops along with just weeds there are abandoned farmhouses and barns and grain silos and other various infrastructure for farming there's probably the odd like thresher uh, vehicle and tractor that are left about. You probably even see like a couple civilian <laughs> versions of Bert's model as you uh, go through these farmlands. Oh, that could be handy. What do you all do? Hmm. What is worse, keeping going or staying put? Both. They're both bad. Yep. <laughs> They're both bad. <laughs> um, Pitchfork, do you know how to? You're you're a farmer, right? That's. <laughs> uh, where do you where do you hide a a bunch of mechs and some trucks? Can I... we? Do not understand the correlation between that and farming. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of farmland is the, the thing. Um, okay, well, I do have Roadmaster, which I would like to use. I'm just not sure how we want to use it. I was going <laughs> to use it to make it easier on um, on tower to, to drive the truck. Um, but I can also make it, try to make it even harder for the herd although I, apparently they, they don't seem to have an issue with it i don't know uh so to be clear if you you know like when when you use roadmaster it it applies to friend and foe yeah so if you if you make it hard for obvious to move through that space i mean i guess you guys y'all are going forward and not backwards so less of an issue but I just want the cards to be on the table. Sure, sure. <laughs> can we... Uh, can we grab one of the... the, the not birds and use it as... like a to, to plant a trap? Or like a decoy? That maybe they'll get distracted by? If... Mm. No, none of us are very good at hacking things, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, hack, one, hack into one of those and have it, like, go charging at them, but I don't think that would work particularly well. Mm. Or just get in one and have it go charging at them. But that also probably wouldn't go particularly well, now that I think about it. Well, hmm, if they're, if they're the same kind, right? the um could you could pitchfork could you use a remote vehicle control on them oh mm. hmm maybe yeah uh, uh, i mean that that will require a roll but i'm not going to yeah. disallow it that's yeah okay See, let me declare that. Okay. Um. Hmm. What do you want to roll for this? Um. I'm. 
Hmm. I don't have great options here. I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't have. Oh well, you've got interface. Oh, true. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll roll interface. <laughs> understandable that you forget since you just got it so i did just get it i <laughs> forgot so yeah you could you could roll interface to reprogram your remote vehicle control okay um uh, position and effects uh i think this will be risky standard okay one die Oh. That's a four. The four. Okay. So yeah. Um. Let's see. So the consequence is that Alice and the reinforcements get closer. They are each now two ticks away from arriving and being a direct threat. Um, so what, what do you do with these remote controls <laughs> or with this remote control? <laughs> um, you, you know, mm -hmm. remember this, you could, you could just say that you have the option and have a flashback later. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I mean, you could just you could just send it in and just have it sort of fuck the way up, like have it tackle one of the mechs or whatever, or one of the one of the bigger um, obvies. How, how what's the force look like again, please, Austin? What's the what? What like the what is the like what kind of mechs and how many? The ones chasing you? Yeah. Okay, so there are two coyotes, which are a lot like uh, Scarecrow's mech. They're bipedal, mm -hmm. and they have uh, long-range missiles and a machine gun. There is also two baboons, which... Um, how, how much does Dredge know about Jovengelian Avi's? Um, um, I'd say a fair amount. Um, yeah. Okay. So baboons are a light brawler. And so they have like mobility suites and then their hands on either uh, side of them. Uh, like on the side of the thumb and the side of the pinky of their hands. They have like these uh, big cleavers, basically, uh, that f are pointed in the direction of their knuckles. And so when they punch something, the cleavers are not their um, like gunpowder. They, they like fire and they uh, shoot out and like jam into whatever the baboons have punched. So it's uh, like a pneumatic kind of uh, melee weapon. And then, right. of, and then of course there's the Sovereign. Of course there's the Sovereign. Ray can see that. I mean, a tower can see that at this point, right? Uh, no, at this point it's still just a dust cloud. Okay. Because remember that this is not like an open plain; it's rolling hills. Mm -hmm. So, and there's also like trees and um, hedges and abandoned buildings, all of which will break up uh, your line of sight. Mm. That's something. Hey, you felt still with us, right? Or did, did they? Jump? You, yeah, you felt is still with you, in oh, in his Tybalt. Okay. Yay. We have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yes, oh. it does. It does have Air a head Pro walking. Right. Have words with you all. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So, all right, we have um two trucks, a truck, a truck and a bus. Um, Tower is driving the bus, and we are carrying the truck. Other way around, but yes. Other, yep. Um, we have an extra Bert, um, who is un, unarmored and un, but also unpiloted. Um, rather, there's no, there isn't a person in it um, that we can use. Um, we have a lot of hills and farms and things that break up line of sight, and two ticks until they get here. And also flashbacks. Don't and forget that you have flashbacks. Hmm. Okay. I'm wondering if we can just dig a giant pit. I. It is an option. <laughs> Could we just dig a really big pit in their way? Like, is that an option? I don't know. I don't have any good ideas right now. Y'all I mean, could we... just keep running, and then when you have a good idea, be like, I have a flashback. Yeah. Yeah. Or just when we have a good idea, implement it wherever we are. That too. Bert does have two points in modified, and we have two Berts. Ooh. There. Mm. I, I like where that's going. I don't know where it's going, but I like it. Well, I like, have ideas, we... but I really don't feel like I should input since I'm not part of the scene. <laughs> well, I mean, we could have we could have talked about this ahead of time. Flashbacks. It also doesn't have to be in character. We can just like talk things out. You know what's cool? Yeah, Reese's like, if only you had two birds. <laughs> you know what you can well, do with okay. two birds. So, would anyone like to hear an idea that uses a spare bird, a modify, and uh, facts about our enemy? A weird pull, but okay. Yeah, absolutely. The sovereign has a lance. Overload. Do we joust with the sovereign? Is that the idea? No, you self destruct the secondary Bert oh. after she spears it. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Rough life. She's my ex, but I don't want to kill her. You don't want to kill anyone. No, I don't want to kill anyone. It's sort of my whole shtick. I mean, she's pretty well armored. I'm pretty sure this is a get her off my back play and not a yeah I, I don't picture that a bert is exactly running like a high grade military nuclear reactor or something probably probably yeah. not well it is a it is like an industrial grade type thing you know yeah it will do some damage it, it'll blow up but yeah it's not yeah. docks right it's not like yeah, it's not going to be fatal. It's also not full of munitions. Yeah. Also that. Yeah, it's it's not going up like a mech warrior mech. <laughs> I could fill it with munitions. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, that's Let me happens. just take out your brain and fill you with seven six two. Lots and lots and lots of fine destruction tools. Okay, so you just drill in a set of eyes for it. What do you do? Do we go with the spearing and then blowing up thing? You, you could, mm, mm. Or do we wait? I said like, we set that up and then we keep running and then like if it comes to that then we do it. Yeah. But first we run. <laughs> yeah. So you're doing another group action to to move through these hills? Oh boy. Group actions. Is that just another maneuver? Probably. I'm not yeah. leading this one. We cannot afford to fuck this bus up. It's me this time. Well, it's, yeah. You you can afford to fuck the truck up. It just means that you'll have lowered effect for your future escape. Oh, sorry. You all did is succeed on the escape earlier, didn't you? You just had consequences. I forgot yeah. to put ticks in the clock. My apologies. Hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a five. There you go. You got <laughs> two ticks. Okay. I mean, yeah. I just I I want to have like an actual functioning truck, so I would pref 
prefer not to. Sure. Fuck this up too bad. Yeah. So who wants to lead? Yeah, this is. I'm I'm leading, and also this is actually good because if I do. I mean, non we... non damage related things. It's not great, but uh, damage related things I can deal with. So. We also, um, if it comes to that, we have on the move now. So at least one of y'all can get a free uh, refuel. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's um, it's more of a consequences thing than a fuel thing. But no, should... I'm just saying, like, in terms of... Um, my, my, I lost my words there, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so... You're doing a maneuver group action with Pitchfork leading. Good lord. Y'all put in your rolls. What's yep. our positioning? Uh, risky standard. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. We're extremely good at this. Eofeld's keeping pace with you all. Just, uh... How? Hmm. <laughs> Six. Hey. Whoosh. Oh. Whoosh. That's a six. Just you one. got a success. Just one. Only one fuel. <laughs> because a Dredge got a three, but Pitchfork got a five, and Tower got a six. <laughs> okay, so two more ticks on the escape clock, and no consequences. Yay! Good work, team. <laughs> so, what does that look like, uh, Pitchfork? Um, I definitely think it's, it's like, instinct. <laughs> um, and it's, it's using the, uh, also using the, like, jackhammer to get rid of, like, trees. <laughs> and your plow shield? Yeah, it's, it's getting rid of smaller obstacles and just, like, relying on my gut. Okay, uh, so actually that, that brings up a question, which, how are you carrying the bus? Oh, I, mm. I have an image I'd like to like, propose. Like you can have one hand doing it, yeah. but I want to know which, whether it's your shield or your jackhammer that isn't like immediately accessible. It's probably the jackhammer like it would make sense for me to like shield badge down something or like to like scoop it out of the way yep okay uh, cool yeah and what were you saying sasha oh I, just the image uh i would i was going to propose was that uh that the way that they're carrying the the bus is that uh it's balanced on bert's back and cool. the, what the magpie is doing is like making sure it stays there just like holding it up. Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> okay. You have both hands. That's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mech hmm. friends support each other. <laughs> <laughs> you got your hands free, so you know. Okay. It's a weird piggyback. Okay, so and we all need to go over a log over a creek, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Hmm. Do I want to activate the rival move on Pitchfork? <laughs> hmm. Follow your heart, Austin. Follow your heart. Or maybe don't. Maybe leave your heart behind? Uh, I need it to beat. Um... <laughs> How, yeah. how far away from the... I guess that's the escape, right? Never mind. We're about halfway. Yep, you're about halfway to, to safety. Um, what would happen here? Has to be something that she can do. Um... No, you know what? I'm going to hold on to it. I don't have anything especially interesting at the moment. <laughs> so, you've worked your way 
through some of these hedges. And now that you're halfway there, as you crest over the top of a hill, you can see, like, still a ways ahead, but you can see, like, the sort of rough battle line that demarcates the vague border between the lands of the faithful and the Jovengelian Empire's controlled territory. There are, uh, I think now at, from the top of this hill, you're able to pick up, uh, not radio, well, like not direct communication, but like, uh, friend or foe tags being communicated to you. And so you can see like the rough lines of the patrols of friendlies that are not exactly in the area, but you can see where they are. They aren't close by, to be clear, but that's how you can tell that you're you're getting there. Uh, and then you start to go down into one of these spaces between hills, and then. Uh, as you're going down over your there, there's like a crackling over your radio uh hmm yeah over your radio tower in the truck okay <laughs> and a voice comes over the like CB in the cab and it says Mitch, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mitch? Oh, what do I do? 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 Oh, my God. Um. Um. <laughs> I was a drama major. This is my moment. <laughs> Drama majors have scripts. This is not my moment. <laughs> you must have taken an improv class. Come on. I got like a 70 in it. I did very badly in that improv class. Um. C's get degrees. D's get degrees. <laughs> Um, okay, I think I just, like, like put a hand over the radio thingy, just, just on the off chance that I'm somehow still broadcasting, and I'm just like, hey, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> there's, um, apparently there's a dude called Mitch that is in, uh, in the magpie, um, who I have taken the place of. And now I am getting a message or a, a radio broadcast from Mitch's buddy. Um, I don't know how to respond to this. How do I... How do I diffuse this? I'm not going to diffuse this situation. That's not going to happen. I think I just, like, switch the radio off. Like, I, 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 like, panic for a couple of seconds, then I just switch the radio off. You can like, pretend to be... I mean, you can't pretend to be the person themselves, because, obviously, but you could pretend to be someone who's taken over for... I mean, this is not a lie, technically. Uh, someone who has taken over for uh, for Mitch um, in the interim, something terrible has happened to Mitch, which is not a mm -hmm. lie. That's uh, fair. Can I... That's fair, actually. You can't be Mitch, but you can be Mitch's friend, who is doing their best... <laughs> Okay, I think I'll do that. Um, I assume you told me that in character. Yes. Okay. Um, I think I just sort of like poke the little uh, reply button on the radio and I'm like, uh, hey, Mitch had like some kind of medical emergency. He like passed out. Um, so I'm taking over. We got new uh, root coordinates. Um, so I'm just following that. I didn't get a proper briefing on this, so I'm just following the coordinates we got. 
Um, I don't know. This is Barbara, if you want to look me up. <laughs> no, okay. That was, look, what do you we want just need to buy us time. What do you want to roll power? Shut up. This is bullying. Um, I guess, would it be consort or sway? I've got one in each. I mean, sway will give you greater effect, I think. Okay. So this will but be I'm risky for, standard. I'm going for sway, and I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to mark off um, documents. I'm going to have gotten a fake ID for nice. this, uh, like, trekking company. Hmm. Okay. I'll... So I can, like, patch in my little uh, my ID code. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll... Uh give you great effect then okay and i think can someone assist on this or can i um does anyone have the stress to assist or i can push yeah, actually I can hold, I hold just... on a second no 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 no, no. Just... no hold on you all blew up their military escort and then picked up the bus Shut yeah up. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. yeah. We did. Okay. I, it took me a second. Like, I'm not <laughs> saying you can't roll, but I don't think you can get better than limited effect, even with the documents. Because. I, <laughs> can, I, can I say we got out of the people that were trying to get us and we're on a new route? They can look like, out the window and see Bert and the magpie carrying the bus. Uh, yeah, they can. They're kind of, you know, what's the word? Distinctive? Listen, I know this looks bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> we have the situation under control. So so give me that risky, limited roll. Mm -hmm. Kidnapping is such a strong word. I prefer impromptu rescue. Impromptu vacation. Yes! <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Video, guys. My friends, my friends. That's a two. That's a two. That's a two. Yeah, that tracks. Oh, no. Yeah, that does. Okay. That's about right. Um, so, over the radio, you get... Wait, Barbara, what the fuck are you talking about? Mitch was driving the truck when we left. When the hell would he have switched places with a Barbara? I turn the radio off. <laughs> and I just floor it. That's okay. the logical fallacy. That's the loophole? Okay. <laughs> Alright, buddy. <laughs> fucking Sherlock Holmes over here. Let's fucking crack the case. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Um. So your risky consequence is that as you are distracted by this radio conversation, uh, you you hit a fence with the truck. Oh my god! <laughs> I have one tick left, but I'm I do not have the stress to confident. And I'll give it one more tick, and <laughs> or am I taking two? You know what? You're taking one tick. Okay. So the grinding sound gets worse, and through the windshield, you can see like steam starting to come out of the radiator. Nice, and, like uh, bits of and, fence. And, yeah, there is like fence, like wire fence wrapped around the front of the truck. One of the fence posts probably went through the radiator. Um, yep. Yep. And as for the other consequence. <laughs> I'm oh, adding God. another tick to the Alice Arrives clock because the truck is slowing down, allowing her to gain. Oh my God. Fuck. Okay. Fun and good times. Um, hmm, let me think. The, the magpie's kind of below the bus, right? Um, if, hmm. No, the, the way I was picturing it was like Bert's at the bottom, and then on on Bert's 
head and or shoulders or and or back is the bus. And then above that is the magpie that is sort of like holding onto it and keeping it like both lifting it and also keeping it um, balanced. Stable. Can... Yeah. I don't so it's know like if a, the like magpie a can like float a that high. Because Bert's pretty tall, right? And then there's the bus on top. Yeah. You don't have to be that high above the bus. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, you are in a position to see the door to the bus. Okay. And so you see the door to the bus open. And uh, <laughs> out gets... Uh, let's see. Out gets this woman, this white lady. She's got, like, this this full-on black pompadour. And she's got... Oh, the final of... Pam. <laughs> she's got... Yeah, a... don't, don't do this to me. Um, Time to fix the baby. I mean, shit, I'm actually looking at her NPC description, and she kind of does match the final Pam in, like, <laughs> description inadvertently <laughs> um yeah she's got a live build yeah, but she, she's baby. not she's not wearing like a red fur coat uh she she has on like a tank top and jeans and uh she's uh what's she carrying uh strapped to her back is some kind of case and she starts climbing out of the bus and is like going around to the other side to like to the other side of the bus outside of your range of vision and towards mm. Bert. Okay, no, I'm just gonna move a hand that so it covers the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> just kinda <laughs> No. What do you just... want to roll for that? Bad and naughty um... children go in the pear wiggler. No, <laughs> that's that's a manipulate. I think. I think so too. Just a <laughs> just an easy little slide, hand door. This will be problem. a risky standard. Okay. Manipulate. Risky standard. Two dice. At the six. That's a six. Okay. Yay. So the door like opens it and you just like close it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this person's like about to try something badass and you just close the door on them. <laughs> how, how, how many times do they try to open the door? Because I'm picturing like literally any horror game where like both you and the monster can open a door. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. yeah, it's, nope. they definitely start nope. like banging on it and you can see her face through the window and she looks pissed. <laughs> she doesn't do the thing where she presses her face up against the glass and just like inflates her cheeks <laughs> weird but intimidating it's working um, it's a power move I'm just like she goes to a window and I just move a hand and she goes to another window and I just move a hand and it's just oh, like a <laughs> yeah she absolutely goes to like a, wi a window on the opposite <laughs> side next and starts like trying to work the window loose mm -hmm. and you just like cover it with like <laughs> You you can hmm. have enough hands. Yeah, you, I, and I then and then she moves into the area of the bus, which is covered by the tinted windows, and you can't see what's up. That's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just randomly tilt the bus back and forth to fuck with her. I'm not supposed to mess to hurt civilians on this so i don't think i will be doing that but it's an idea <laughs> keep that in my back pocket okay um so what are y'all doing now um can i calm the friendlies can uh, i get so the the between the hills you don't have good connection you could okay. stop on top of a hill and I'm not doing that. try and arrange a connection. Or if you want to make a roll and try and patch, like, one, patch yourselves into their comms, and two, like, try and boost the signal of your own comms. I mean, yeah. Yeah, why the hell not? 
Okay, so what do you want to roll for that? Oh, right. Uh, and <laughs> it's clearly an interface. I don't have anything in interface, so can I? Can I? Can, can I? I... Can you, Dredge? What do you What do you want to do? Engineer. Yeah, you could roll engineer. I think that's good. What does that look like? That's like um, taking. All right, so I already have comms, right? I'm just sort of taking other stuff um, in my cockpit and like quickly soldering it on or like making connections and whatnot. It's just like. Um, mashing stuff or like i know what i'm doing right like yeah Yeah. but it's yeah you're rerouting power and boosting (laughs) signals and so yeah you're taking the console apart to try and do stuff okay yeah you can absolutely roll engineer that'll be a risky standard and how are how are you going to assist Tower, are you going to assist? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so... That's my okay. brain is all kind of fucky tonight. Um, <sighs> yep, I'm going to assist. I'm going to mark oh. three stress. Hold up. How are you going to assist? I am going to... Sorry, my brain is kind of fucky tonight. Do you mind re-describing exactly what the sort of situation is? Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Basically, just taking I'm taking apart my console and sort of rerouting power and, and boosting the signal to try and get into con- into contact with friendlies. Okay. And, like call for help and and yeah, cover what we get past the line. I mean, I'm I'm not. I want to be able to help with this, but I just I don't have a clear idea of how. Um, if, if you can't help, that's okay. I want to though. I only thing I like. I'm gonna be okay. You should say maybe say that for when I don't have two. Yeah, I I I really don't have any idea of how I would help here. I'm not good with tech stuff. I'm not an Avi person. You you were an actor. You weren't in production. No. Okay. I tried to build a set once and I almost died. (laughs) All right, roll that risky standard engineer. It's bad. Oh, that's a oh, three. Man. It's really bad. Okay. Oy, oy, oy. Um. The doofa. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So. I think. What's what's the cockpit entrance look like on the magpie? You know, I've been wondering that for the entirety of the show. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't have any idea how, how Dredge gets in and out of this thing. Do you just get eaten and then there's like a latch in the tickle zone? Um, I know that, okay, I know that the, the inside of the magpie is a series of like tunnels, basically. Um, Tickle town. Okay. Do we ever play laser tag in there? I don't think it's oh, that God. big. Yeah, it's not. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless it's like, first. yeah, it's like a, it's it's not big in there. Um, it's <laughs> like crawl space. Uh, <laughs> what to think about playing laser tag? It would just be like if you if you just played it in the vents of like, uh, I don't know. It would be it would not work. I don't think. That's fair. That's fair. Call this the Metal Gear training regimen. Exactly. Um, oh, so is the is the entrance to the car? Co- okay, is the entrance to the the pilot side of the magpie connected directly to the cockpit or is there like a series of tunnels that you have to go through to get to the cockpit um i think it's it's a series of tunnels that feels that feels right okay um so you like you're working on this console panel and uh, you're working on the console panel, and then finally you're just like, 
you you realize that this is hopeless like if you do boost the power the only way to boost the power is going to take power away from the like uh, the CPU of the Magpie, which means that you won't have the pow- like the CPU power to then crack the encryption of your allies to get through to their lines. So you just like put everything back together, <laughs> and like just as you finish like screwing in the last panel, you feel the cold steel of a barrel of a gun on the back of your neck, yeah. and you're in a desperate position. And in the reflection of the monitors of the magpie, does the magpie have monitors in the cockpit? I I love I you've introduced the idea of like CRT monitors. I, I'm here for it. Yes, one hundred percent. So in the reflection of the monitor in front of you, you can see the woman who tried to get out of the bus. No. And she's standing behind you, and she's holding a pistol to the back of your neck. You're in a desperate position. And in the same monitor, you can see that the luggage compartment of the bus is open, Ah. which is presumably where she got out from. Uh, And she says, who the fuck are you people? (laughs) I told you I liked her. Better question, who are you? Uh, She pistol whips you lightly. (laughs) Not a light... Not not enough to not enough to take harm, but like, just like, in you, you know, it would be like a, a smack across the head of like someone who is being, you know, silly, and you wanted them to smarten the fuck up. But with a uh, gun, yeah, a but with a gun caress. in hand. A gentle gun caress. Yeah, I think also the fact you like your those, mask those protects you words. some, right? And yeah, I've got, I've got. So stuff. like your yeah. ears are ringing a bit, but you're not harmed and she says really (laughs) i'm sorry the 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 eddie izzard routine is playing in my head this is not a game of who the fuck am i (laughs) this is not a game of who the fuck are you for i am vader god okay um i guess uh i'm (laughs) Okay, I'm surprised you missed the 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 big eight pointed star logo on on the outside. Yeah, I was a little distracted. So you're myriad, huh? That's what that means. And what exactly are you doing, kidnapping a fucking metal band? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Swear to God. Scratch. <laughs> One second. And I can't scratch. <laughs> what was the what was the, the band shirt that they were wearing? PDC. Yeah, okay. Uh and <laughs> I I'm presuming uh she's the lead singer. Or like a Or like a bodyguard. Are, are you saying this to her? Yeah. She says No, I'm a roadie. Oh, well, this will be l- less impressive then. Sorry about the beeping. Um, and uh, I, I calm str- Scratch and I'm like, hey, we're bringing the band back to you. Uh, and um, you can't reach... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can reach Scratch because of the same calm issues you had before with the other <laughs> people. Great. Okay. Um, so, I'm pretty sure. How the fuck? Okay, here, okay. Here's the real answer, which is that our boss is a shithead. Uh, yeah. Comes with being a boss. Yeah. You don't see me kidnapping bands, though. Mm, And you're wiser for it. Uh, Trust me, it's not... To be fair, we did not know this was a kidnapping or a band. That's that's true. Uh, 
we were given an objective, and it happened to be you. Condolences. She just, like... Why did your band have a giant fucking military mech with it? Uh, I mean... Why you're, you're Why is in... your, your band looked over by the herd? You say that? Yeah. Uh, she says, We were going to Fort Jovenal to play a show. Huh. And that warrants the herd? They were just who was assigned for escort. Why am I explaining this to you? You're the one at gunpoint. <laughs> you put down the bus. Hmm. No? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. I, I think at this point she pistol whips you for real. <laughs> uh, take level one harm whipped. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that. I deserve it. It's fine. Deserve it. I deserve it. Um, <sighs> uh, I think so. I think all three of like the other three of you who are not in the cockpit can, of course, at least hear uh, Dredge's side of the conversation because of the yeah. throat mic. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely broadcasting this to the rest of the of the crew. What hundo? <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if y'all want to do anything about this. I have been choosing my moment, and this is not it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Fair. Uh, Pitchfork. Do you do you want to do anything about the person who has invaded Dredge's cockpit? Uh, I'm thinking about what my options are here. Um. <laughs> Especially since my remote control is currently uh, not tuned in to, to Bert. I mean, it's you can not ideal. You can set cruise control. I, I, I guess. Setting, setting, switching between the two. I'm not going to have you roll for. Okay. Yeah, I should go help. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I guess. I guess we'll. Put everything on auto for a second and climb back there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I... I don't know what to do here. Wait, hang on. Um, I just want to make a quick check. Uh, the compartment still has weight in it. That's what I'm reading. What compartment? Tickle town. It still has people in it. It's oh, populated. Yes. yes, yes. It is. No one. It has not changed its contents. Okay. Cool. No one has There's... escaped from Tickle Town. No at one least... escaped from Tickle Town. <laughs> there is at least that. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep talking. Um, Are you just trying to buy time with Blather? Um, <laughs> somewhat. Um, I. <laughs> Hmm. I think I'm like, well, you can, um, hmm. no, I, I just thought of it, and I'm like, if, if, if she can get out of the, the bus, and she's a roadie, she can probably figure out the, the controls if I'm rendered, uh, unusable, uh, mm -hmm. here's a question. Yeah. Um, if no one is at the control, even for a moment, does the magpie start to fall? Mm, I could make that seem like it's the case. Go boneless. Oh. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> one boneless death lizard coming right up. Um, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, let the, let, let the controls dip for a second, um, and then pretend that this thing is much harder to pilot than it actually is, um, 
and uh, I am saying something to the effect of uh, if you if you keep hurting me like this, I'm not going to be able to keep the, the bus stable, much less uh, safe. Uh, okay, what do you want to roll for that? Uh, it's not really, it's a, I guess it's a sway. Yeah, it's a sway, because I'm lying. Yep. Uh, okay, so, uh, that is going to be Desperate Limited. Remember to mark XP. Hey, yay, nice. Um, Woo! yeah, I'll take, hmm, hmm, I could use some help actually here with this. With this, I could use some help. Okay. Um, you have any ideas? Um, uh, if um, if Pitchfork will uh, make it even more dramatic on her end, um, shake the shake Bert somewhat. I don't know. Or I can like swing the bus around, um, and put that in a weird position so it would like disrupt the whole sort of flow of things. I mean the truck. The, the truck, yeah. Sorry. Like, I could bring the truck around front. Uh, I don't want to trip Bert. I just want to simulate bad things happening. <laughs> just give the bus a gentle shake. Yeah. yeah. So that uh, it seems less steady than it actually is. Yeah. Uh, so, Takuma? Mm-hmm. Uh, how did you catch that suggestion for an assist? No, I missed it. Yeah. Sorry. So, uh, Sasha suggested that Pitchfork could assist Dredge by giving the bus, like, a gentle shake to make it seem less stable than it actually is. So, yeah. You want to assist with that? Yeah, that seems appropriate. Okay. How much stress are you spending? Uh, just the one. I only have the one. Okay, mm. so is that an extra die, position, or effect? What do you need? I need better effect, I think. Effect, then. Okay, so desperate standard. That's a sway. I will just roll. Um, sway, desperate, standard. How many dice do you have? One. Oh, honey. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I should help. Um... If more than one person is helping, that's more of a group action. Yeah. So. I, I can't. I can't, y'all. I... Okay. <laughs> that's a four. That's a four. Mm. On a desperate. Take okay. XP. Woo! Um, she grinds her teeth. And she says, All right, but I told you to put the bus down. And, um, let me see, what's that consequence? Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. There's a, there's a there's a number of things I could do here. There's a lot you could do. Yeah. Uh So she says, "I told you to put the bus Ooh, Oops. <laughs> Oop, the ass. bus. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh Dang it. Sorry. I misclicked on roll 20 and uh, Oh no, reinforcements are just not coming. <laughs> oh no. How do oh, I... the horror. We are so sad. No, yeah. the game has been ruined. <laughs> I accidentally moved it to the GM layer. Oh. Oh, there's no escape. Just that. give us all access to the GM layer. It's fine. Yeah. It's like Tickle Town. <laughs> Problem solved. God. Yep. Okay, you know what? I don't know how to move it back. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know Roll20 well enough. Um, Make so... a new one. It was at four ticks. 
Yeah, I know. I, I can still see it as the thing. I just can't interact with it. <laughs> you can see it on the stream, but we can't. The players. You Let it go, what? Jake. It's Tickle Town. <laughs> okay. Bad. So, that has one tick left because your whole uh, unbalancing act has caused everyone to slow down a bit, allowing them to catch up. And you of... you also erased all of the ticks on the truck. Oh god. And the escape, and the escape. clock. Oh my. Okay. I will fix both of those cuz the truck was at 3 and the clock was at halfway. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm just gonna come, I'm gonna put the bus in my railgun and shoot it over to the target for fucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, delivery! <laughs> yeah, so... She says, I told you to put the bus down! And then a heavy RV being boosted by jets, by thrusters, comes flying over a nearby hill and, Wonderful. like, lands to a skid and is now... <gasps> trailing the your little convoy Alice Foundation and the Savannah Sovereign are on scene delightful so oh this is all you got for <laughs> uh, I would love for someone to come and um, surprise this roadie and also uh, I, I don't know. Launch at Alice? Mm, I'm driving a, a big, big truck. You I sure? don't know. Oh, oh geez. Big group um, simulator waits for no one. Oh, jeez. Um, what do I do? That's a good question. What do you all do? It's Bert, it's, it's other Bert time. Yes! Okay. Hey! So Woo! what do you do with other Bert? Um What it is this the one with the lance? Yes. Just get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it at itself at uh the sovereign. I I want to make it look like I'm going for like a a mech judo throw a la Pat Labor, but yeah. Just get stabbed. But this, yeah. this, this. It, 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 in my mind, I see it just turn around and raise up its arm. Like I, I, I don't have a clear picture of Bert in my head, but I see like something kind of tall and can like almost. So I just see. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. It's 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 very like. It's it's the it's like the main mech from Scythe's <laughs> body. Oh my god, it's whole, It's trying to make itself look bigger to frighten away the Sovereign. No, to frighten away the lion! It's called a lion, that's the base model! There it is. There Wonderful. It is. Oh. Fucking delightful. Okay, what do you want to roll for that? Um... I think a battle. That works. This, yeah. uh... This will be... Wait, hold on. Are you outside of Bert at this point? Or are you still in Bert's cockpit? No, I'm still. I'm still in the cockpit. Okay, this will yeah. be risky limited. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Right. What is what is pushing on a different vehicle using a remote vehicle control? Oh, you'll have. I'll give you the increased effect. Okay. It's just using a remote vehicle gives reduced effect as a baseline. Right. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> gonna gonna roll that. Oh, you're pushed. Okay, so wait, you're pushing for this. So you are using. Hold on, hold on. I need to actually bring <laughs> up another clock. But <laughs> don't don't worry. This is actually a fairly good clock for y'all. <sighs> okay, because other Bert is basically another temporary vehicle yay, yay! <laughs> and since it's an avi and not a mundane vehicle it's a six tick clock for this temporary vehicle so pushing again pushing will add one tick and resisting will add three ticks and of course that 
other Bert's clock can get filled. When it hits six ticks, it is destroyed. Actually, I want to. I want to actually legitimately go in for a judo throw. That hell yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, oh. so are you pushing other Bert? Yeah, I, I will push so I can get standard. Okay, so that is a tick. All right. Here we go. Look at that six. <laughs> okay, so that adds two ticks to overcoming Alice. Tossed. So, oh, yeah, God. this far, this four-legged, two-armed farming mech, like, puts itself between the convoy and this, <laughs> like, heavy military mech rapidly advancing on y'all. And it just grabs the lat, like puts one hand on the front of the lance, and then grabs the wrist of the arm holding the lance, and just. I don't. Here's this the thing, though: is the sovereign basically. is so heavy. Oh my god! Right, so it doesn't flip the sovereign, but it make a trip. I'll make a yeah, trip. Yeah, it like yeah. throws the sovereign off balance. The sovereign like skids sideways and like sp spins out and is totally off balance, and probably that did some damage to the wrist and the elbow of the of the lance arm. And uh, <laughs> like Alice is probably inside of her cockpit, like shaking her head. Uh, just like, what just happened? <laughs> um, let's see. Um, but now she is between the convoy and other Bert. And so... Let's see. Where is the big rig in relation to uh, to the rest of the to the weird pile that is the magpie, the bus, and Bert? Ray, where's the truck? Are you in the lead? Are you tailing? I think I'm, I'm. I'm still trying to take a lead. Like I. I. I think that part of the reason I was taking such a brunt brain. Uh, bullshit is I was trying to take a lead and get a path going. Okay. Um, so you're why I've front. got like chicken wire and shit stuck in the uh, run and all that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so Alice like spins out, regains her bearing, and then I she's she's an ace. I think she can pick up that there's no one actually in other Bert and decides that that is not the target necessary. What what's up? <laughs> oh my god. You almost got me to say it. <laughs> so the question becomes is she distracted? Oh yeah. Can I pick my moment? Absolutely. Uh, so this will be, let's see, I think, I don't, ha I don't think I've had time to catch up with her, but I think I might have found a vantage point to have everyone in line of sight. Okay. So, as she's tussling with other Bert, I think I might just try to kill both of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so if... If I may make a... Hmm. How would this even work if you're just, like, firing right through other Bert? Uh... I'm... I will... let you put three ticks on other Bert because, like, you're just 
we could just say you fart right through the cockpit, right? <laughs> Which it <laughs> basically doesn't need. Yeah. And so you can put three ticks on other Bert as like a free push if you want. I I will I'm into that. Okay. And I think this would be Well, it's gonna be bombard or destroy. Given the uh, it I think I think bombard makes most sense here. Yeah. Um, Extreme range. So this will be uh with the It'll be with your heavy cannon. Uh, it'll be controlled standard. Controlled standard. Yeah. And do you want to use the sacrifice other Bert for uh, dice or effect? I'm gonna go with dice. Okay. Uh, here's the devil's bargain. If you completely Ooh. destroy Bert, you get another die. Bert, Bert. No, no, other Bert. If you completely other destroy other Bert. How many Does other birds you... still explode? Uh, well, other bird will explode, but not in a way that's going to give you increased effect. That's it, that's fair. I just wanted to ask. Yeah, it'll <laughs> just be added. It'll be you'll get an, another die. Is what this will do. But other birds toast. Mm. And I've already committed to using that free push for a die and not effect, haven't I? Yep. Oh, that should actually be four. You know what? I'm going to take... You're going to take it? It, it, it? Is there any strong objection? Yes. Yes? Um, I don't I don't see the tactical advantage to it at this point. Um, if, if they're not close enough to damage, which is like the ultimate goal of other Bert. Unless they are in range, in which case, absolutely. But like, otherwise, it just seems like destroying uh, or doing damage. I thought they were in melee with each other because, like, Bert did the judo throw. Uh, well, and the judo. The the sovereign sort of spun away. The throw is not like one hundred percent successful because the sovereign's just so heavy. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. In that case, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the devil's bargain as much as as as. As fun as that sounds, uh, because I had some mis uh, some misunderstood assumptions about the scenario. Okay. It's still, I think, the point in her journey where she's going to be the slowest in her charge. So it's still the opportune moment. Okay. So that'll so, be three d six. Yeah, and controlled standard. Six. That is a six. Magnific. That is two more ticks on the Alice clock. So, you line up your shot and you wait for the right moment and Bert throws Alice and the Sovereign goes spinning and you take your shot through Bert's cockpit and like the seat and the control panels just go spraying out just in shrapnel and pieces and parts and ruin but your slug keeps going and punches into the sovereign and like puts a hole through the shield and hits the like armored torso of the sovereign it's undoubtedly taken some damage but is very much still active and a threat um, I think also as a point of order, um, just to dis describe the scene a little bit more, I think it kind of comes out of nowhere, first of all, because the round is already supersonic. And second of all, it's a railgun. It's not a uh, chemical blast. So there's no boom afterwards. There's just a chunk. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, sound of tearing metal, which I can't do. So I think we're going to end the session there because it is 845 for me Jesus. and so here here's where we are scarecrow has a vantage point and has opened fire and made made uh made herself known to everyone present pitchfork is in the con con uh, pitchfork is in the cockpit of bert 
remotely controlling other Bert, who is pretty badly messed up. Yeah. Uh, there's probably like one of its arms is barely functioning. Um, a bus is on Bert's back with the luggage compartment open and it is being held in place by the magpie, including a hand over the door of the bus. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside of the magpie is Dredge, who has a gun to the back of Kor's neck because a roadie is standing, is like crouched inside of the magpie's cockpit. <laughs> You know, which is amusing mirroring for the second session of the second mission of the first season when Demon was on the ground in an APC with someone posing as a camera crew pointing a gun at him. <laughs> The trials and tribulations of the entertainment industry. Poetic cinema. <laughs> yeah. This is very amusing, the symmetry. Uh, so, I'm going to take us back to the talk screen Yay. for XP. Okay. So... Uh, who do we want to do first? Let's do Tower. Hello. Hello. So. <laughs> I, I didn't expect you to say it back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you address a challenge with stealth or evasion? Yes. Uh, win. Uh. I more more um like climbing on the truck and like doing all that stuff um yeah fair trying to outrun the whole sort of herd situation yep okay so take two xp okay for my life <laughs> uh let's see what's the next question Sorry, I did not have the character sheets up at the moment. But Austin, you told us to go through the list. How dare you? You <laughs> hypocrite! How dare you? I, I have I have an add-on to my Firefox, which if you don't use a tab for half an hour or so, then it suspends the tab to reduce memory usage. So, Oof. um. Yes, so did you uh, express your history, tragedy, or opening? Um, I think there was some stuff with history only because, like, we're dealing with um, rivals and stuff right now for me. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that was directly expressed, but you know, if you want to give me the XP, I'll always take it. Um, I will give you an XP, but more so for your, like, attempts at theater in the truck. <laughs> because you like I don't think that Tower I don't think that Tower realized that Alice was here. Hmm. Actually Yeah, probably not. I mean I I, I assume I assume they would have recognized the Avi on some level. Unless it was it's a very new Avi. No, I think the the circus has Avis from all over the place, so yeah, you probably could have recognized the Savannah Sovereign. It's like, it's, hmm, rocket propelled jousting. Who does that sound like? It's yeah. So, so you vibe. now know that Alice is here. On it. But <laughs> yeah. doing a double take in the rearview mirror, like, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you like you plow through the fences, like you you swiping away some of the dust, and you. Hold up. No. <laughs> no. Adjusting your mirror, yeah. But we'll we'll touch on that more next session, I believe. It's our first three session mission. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh did you struggle because of your beliefs, trauma, or character? Um, I don't 
think so. Uh, I'd argue you'd struggled because you really don't want to kill people. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but that's not that's not like. Um, that's your tragedy, I would say, though. Yeah, it is. So take another uh, XP for that that note. Yay! I filled up my XP bar. Nice. Do you have a special um, ability in mind that you want to take? I think about it when other Absolutely. while other people. Absolutely. Okay, Scarecrow, did you address a challenge with tar with tracking or violence? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Take two say. XP. <laughs> Woo! Uh, did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? Uh, I would argue my comfort with uh, going dark and waiting out conflict in the middle of a hot zone. Yep. yep. Okay. And also, uh, hey, military brat, I'm Maurice. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Yeah, I think also you uh, talking tower through how to unload a shotgun. Yeah, I was going to say. So take two XP. Sweet, uh, I have one more than the track. Did you ex uh, struggle because of your beliefs, trauma, or character? No. Not okay. Either. Do you know what ability you want to take for your playbook? Uh, I oh. have an ability. Sorry, just remember for everyone that this XP at end of session, you can also put into your attributes as well, if you're so inclined. It doesn't all have to go into your playbook. Um. But yeah, sorry, do you have an idea of what ability you want? If not, that's fine. And remember, you can take abilities from other classes. Yes. Um, I do, but I need to do a little bit more research on exactly how it would work. Okay. All right. Um, uh, also, I'm taking uh, Never Tell Me the Odds. Okay, which does what? Uh, if you're outnumbered or drastically overmatched by a foe, take plus one D to resistance. Okay. All right, Dredge. Uh, did you address a, a challenge with technical skill or mayhem? I'm going to say yes, I did. Which was uh, when? Uh, uh, just a bunch of it. Um, uh, helping out, um, like, the, all the healing, mostly. Ah, uh, yes. Right, yeah, okay, take two XP. I had forgotten about the healing and repairs Sweet. that you did. Uh, that's a level up for me. Thank you for my life. Okay. <laughs> Don't mention that. Ah. Um, we I... all, also, we forgot about Yefeld, I think, again, with... But, I mean, he didn't have too much of an opportunity to do stuff. Uh, but now, with a fight on your hands, he probably will. Yeah. Yay! Let's see if he um, makes it out. I Yes, I had a quick question. I hate to interrupt XP, but I realized I may have misinterpreted something on the sheets. Oh. Um, with fuel, do you start having operational problems when you reach full fuel use or when you exceed full fuel use? When you reach. Then I have had trouble because I assumed that the last section was th another three that the, was so dark I couldn't see the individual lines. Oh. Or is that the last section? Because mm. I am at nine fuel use. Oh, yeah, you're full up um okay you That's know what i just erase one of them you're still learning the system i'm you know not gonna hold it against you so but any fuel you spend going forward is gonna give uh the karasu uh a character gotcha okay all right back to the edge uh, did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? I don't think so. Did you struggle because of your beliefs, trauma, or character? Hugged on, burnt, or soft? Not really. Okay. Do you know what ability you want to take? Uh, I want a custom implant. I don't know what that looks like just yet, but I'm going to get it. Cool. Um, yeah. All right. And you can, to be clear, you can have it for this mission. And just be Sweet. like, yeah, I had it earlier. I just haven't used it during this mission. Love it. Which might be very handy for the uh, <laughs> person in your cockpit, depending on po upon what you go with the uh, chemical being. Yeah, I have no idea. And Actually, also, sorry. what the delivery sorry. system is. What's yeah. up? Can I go I'm What's sorry. Up? Um, can I actually go back on Never Tell Me the Odds? I forgot that there were um, general upgrades that I could take, so I want to look through those more. Gen Hold on, what do you mean by general Perfect. upgrades? 
Never mind. I'm just being stupid. Um, no, you, you can take them from other playbooks. I think. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. yeah. That's okay. what my brain was saying. I want to look through other playbook. Brains. Okay, that's cool. Sorry. No, that's my brain fine. is not working today. All right. And Pitchfork, did you address Whoa. a challenge with piloting or violence? Um, yeah, leading leading the maneuver and then the, the judo. Yeah, take Robo 2 judo. XP. Um, how about some nice insight? <laughs> Did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? I don't think so. No. Uh, yeah, probably not. Did you struggle because of your beliefs, trauma, or character? Uh, no. Okay, so that's your two XP. Yeah. And you put that into insight, you said? Yes. Did you fill it up? No. No, I've got two more left, but yeah, not not too far off. Okay, and squad XP. Um, Sasha, would you mind doing the bookkeeping for this? All right. Did you execute a successful delivery or acquire new clients or contraband sources? We have acquired. <laughs> Haven't delivered yet, but have them in hand. We're working on it. Yeah, okay. I would say that you've acquired, so take an XP for that. Um, did you face off against challenges above your pay grade? Mm -hmm. Yes, take two XP. Yeah. Uh, did you bolster your squad's reputation or develop a new one? Your reputations are merciful and duplicitous. duplicitous. Kidnapping bastards count? Merciful? We didn't kill either of those people? Yeah, like that's... we actively worked really hard to save someone um, in that's, a situation. That's true. Okay, take an XP for that. Uh, and did you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the squad? No. Oh, thank. Yeah, today feels less. Today was a harried road trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you'll need to figure out the mixtape for next session. Uh, but we're playing Ribbon Drive next session. We're not actually <laughs> playing. <laughs> Oh, is there a Mad Max game? Dan Rock or... is useless. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Should I build a Mad Max hack of Beam Saver for next session? Uh, there is someone already basically playing a Mad Max game on Mars with Beam Saber. So Fucking no, wonderful. No hacking needed. <laughs> uh, Delightful. Okay, so with that, it is the end of the show. Uh... I am Austin Ramsey. I've been your host for the evening and the GM. I'm the creator of Beam Saber. If you're interested in Beam Saber, you can find it at tinyurl.com slash beamsaber. If you want to financially support the development of the game, you can do so at patreon.com slash A-U-S-T-I-N-R-A-M-S-A-Y. That's my name, Austin Ramsey. Uh, as always, this stream is presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role-playing games with a diverse, rotating cast. You can find me on Twitter at Not an Inn if you want to ask me any questions about Beam Saber or uh, see what I'm up to with it. This evening, I have been joined by Doc. Hey, I'm Doc. Uh... You guys can follow me on Twitter at DoubleDocMD. Same for Twitch. And uh, my podcast is at moviemorg.simplecast.fm. We talk about movies we just did uh, Be for Vendetta for the 5th of November. It's a lot of fun. Thanks. Also joining me is Bean Ray. Hello. I have been and still am Ray. Um, you can find me on Twitter at RayRayTheGayGay or on Tumblr at Cultivating-Saplings. Thank you. And Sasha. I've been Sasha Renault. You can find me on Twitter at Sasha underscore Renault, and you can uh, follow my game dev stuff at TCabbage. Thank you. And last but never least, Takuma. Hey. 
I'm talking about. Um, my Twitter is at Takuma underscore Okada underscore. Um, and if you want to s- figure out what sort of things I tweet about, today has been the day for that. I feel like I covered the whole, whole gamut. I don't. I don't know how to say that word. How does yeah. How does one say gamut. that word? Gamut. gamut. Yeah, I think. Gamut. 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 Yeah. I've only I ever read that word. Both. I've only ever read that word. Yeah. Okay, but well. yeah, I tweet when I'm anxious, and today had me anxious, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you all so much for participating in this road trip episode of the Cenotaph. Since y'all have switched to the logistics, I'm sure there will be many more road trips ahead. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hopefully with less cockpit invasions. Uh, but That's what we'll makes see. Our Maybe uh, Dredge will start carrying a weapon inside the cockpit. Who knows? Take a take a page out of Mitch's book. Okay. Maybe he goes, goes out of Mitch's cab. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, really. We have invaded as a whole at least three cockpits this mission. Yeah. <laughs> Just yep. in general, like we haven't, but there have been. Yep. At least three in A lot of mobile home invasions. We are renaming the squad. This is now Team <laughs> Personal Space. God. Okay. So, with that, I'm going to call it an episode. But before we go, I want to remind everyone, fight the war, not the soldiers. See you later. <laughs>